Hey, what's up guys, BoHD here, and I've highlighted some of the best new apps to hit the respective Google and Apple app stores. The pickings are slim in 2023, but hopefully some of you will enjoy the apps that I have found. Without further ado, let's just get started with the first iOS app. First, we have Ivory for Mastodon. Mastodon, as you may have heard, is a relatively new decentralized social media app that operates on individual servers that you can join. Each one has various topics and rules to follow and has a similar UI to that of Twitter. In fact, Tweetbot, the popular third-party app, uh, actually an award-winning third-party app for Twitter, made this app for Mastodon. So it features a similar beautiful design, fast performance, various themes and icon options, support for multiple accounts, and much more. So if you're a Mastodon user, I highly recommend you give Ivory a look. It's completely free. RuneStone Text Editor is one of the best text editors on the App Store, in my opinion, and based off some of the reviews I've read online, it features syntax highlighting, line numbers, search and replace functionality, it has a page guide, and optimization for both the iPhone and iPad. The iPad version actually has additional features like support for multiple windows, so that's kind of neat. There is a premium version of the app that offers even more functionality if you're a big text editor user, but the free version of the app is, is terrific and definitely worth trying if you're in need of a text editor. Timepiece is a really simple app that gives you multiple timers for all of your multitasking needs. And best of all, it has a beautiful UI and support for widgets. You can customize the timers and you can view and track your time with the log view. What you see is what you get, and I like what I see. So hey, you know, maybe you will too. Any text lets you put any kind of text on your lock screen, which is a new feature available in iOS 16. It could be an important note, it could be a goal of yours, a list of tasks, the possibilities are endless. It features eight widgets that lets you put different text on different lock screen configurations that you might have. There's some basic text editing functionality included, like the ability to, to bold and italicize or even strike through text. It's also scriptable via the Shortcuts app, so you can use an automation to change the text at a certain point in the day or at certain places, which is kind of cool. Overall, a simple but very useful app to have. Switching gears to Android, these apps aren't too terribly exciting, if I'm being honest, but they're some of the newest apps on the Play Store and could benefit some of you for sure. First, we have Sunny. This is a fun new weather app that gives you an hourly and seven day forecast of the weather with some fun icons and animations. It has the high and low temps, the feels like temperature, and support for Celsius and Fahrenheit, among other things. It's quite basic, but that's really all you really need a weather app to do. And with the demise of Dark Sky, the popular weather app that Apple bought out and uh, closed down the Android version of, some of you might be in need of a new app to check out. So you might want to give this one a look. AppDrop is your one-stop shop for uninstalling batches of apps in one go. Maybe you're a fan of our app videos and you have downloaded a bunch of apps we've recommended over the months and years and no longer need those apps taking up precious space on your phone. Well, you can use this app to quickly uninstall a bunch of those apps in one go. You can sort by size, you can view apps in grid view, search across all the apps on your phone. No root or permissions are necessary either, which is really neat. Overall, this is a very useful app to have if you're an app junkie like I am. Last but not least is Codora. This is a powerful barcode tool with all the features you could possibly want a barcode scanner app to have. And while yes, it does scan barcodes, it can also generate them for URLs, plain text, app links, Wi-Fi configurations, and locations, among other things. There's a bunch of different barcode formats it supports, and it'll detect barcodes from screenshots in your Photos app. The app design is easy to navigate and intuitive to use. I just, I think it's a great utility app to have in your app inventory. With that last one, those are some of my favorite brand new iOS and Android apps for the month of January, 2023. With that said, I'm BoHD from Slash.TV. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.